we've got a question here from Joel Ziegler. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Joel? You, you kind of just answered it. He asked if you had any recordings coming out soon, but then he asked, uh, he wants your opinion on how healthy the Fox City's hardcore scene is. Um, Not exist. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for sure. It's, it's, I think it's growing. A let me bit. let me <laughs> let me uh, let me take this uh, one and run. Yeah, with I haven't it. lived here in like ten years yeah. up until this past summer, so I, I can't really attest to that years. at all. So that's kind of a there's two coin two sides of that coin. Um, depending on how you want to look at it, there's divisions within the hardcore scenes everywhere you go. So hardcore is such a blanketed. Term, yeah. term, you know, there's hardcore punk, then you've got, there's so many different bands, so many different subsects. You know, there's guys like Tobin, you know, from Retox that, like, are st- steadily trying to keep things going still. Their version of, their hardcore punk band is slightly different than our hardcore band as, you know, Death Wish. Like you had mentioned before, there's, there's differences in our sounds. But, you know, there was just a hardcore show on Sunday that I was at, you know, that Tobin had set up. And it did die out for a while. Like, and I don't know if if it did actually die out or because I was I had removed myself from the scene. It's yeah. hard to say whether it's alive or dead when you remove yourself for so long. I'd spent so much time in Milwaukee, you know, yeah. and Chicago. I think well, I think the biggest thing is just like we were all old enough to remember a time where it was really thriving mm-hmm. around here. Yeah, it was and that like it was super I mean, that's probably why we all got into it is because it was thriving so much. Mm-hmm. And then I, I don't know, yeah, like you said, it, it really did die off for a while and I mean I think a big thing is is not enough all ages venues, not enough people trying to keep it alive. Um I mean, yeah, so like well that's why people had to venture out to like Milwaukee or Chicago and stuff like that to yeah. go and people to go move. and do this because it's booming in Milwaukee right now. Like yeah. hardcore in Milwaukee Huge. is bigger than it's been since I was, you know, in my early twenties. So like, that's awesome. And I think hardcore in in a general sense is bigger than it's ever been too, mm-hmm. which is really cool to see. So I think I think Dan's answer is right. It, it's hard to, to gauge it now, but I think the potential is there for yeah. it to get. Yeah, bigger. it's it's like right Definitely there on the way. precipice yeah. of like popping off again you know there's just you, you know music the, in general around yeah here. the difference in generations you know like i remember you know jim jones and the kool-aid kids and like you know different stuff from when i was younger you know uh choose your poison was yeah. actively going hard when we were Crazy. kids yep. you oh, know and yeah. in like high school and stuff and just different bands that like the scene was different we had we had so many different punk houses. There was the Patty Mayonnaise. There was the BFG. Oh my god! You know the Poison <laughs> Estate. Dude, you know yeah, the Locust like Lounge. Yeah, there's nothing like that anymore. No. Like it's <clears throat> that's you know all and it's kind of it's funny because all of us grew up on paper, you know, like starting families, doing whatever, yeah. and like you know the crack house, yeah. like you know. You know, Chong's Happy Palace. Like, we were all living together as kids. And, like, you know, then guys get older. They move away. They move to the other side of the country. Mm -hmm. Different things. So, sometimes... Or houses get torn down, you know, because of greedy... You know, greedy bastards that just, like... It's all about the money. And they tear down houses that were, you know, thriving parts of the community... Um, but when you, like Trace said, when you look at hardcore as a whole and not just our scene isolated, because Wisconsin hardcore, Wisconsin punk rock is still, is going hard. It's getting bigger and bigger, you know, seeing kids from generation Y giving it their all. Um, you know, the kids in Elmer Gluskin playing punk rock, you know, those kids rule. I love seeing them. I, you know, they played the other night. They're one of my favorite Appleton bands to see. And they just, they're just passionate about it. They, they just want to play rock and roll.